price, performance, and release date for the RTX 3000 series. Let's discuss. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So a new leak was just published by the website videocards.com where they showed apparently a picture of the ROG Strix RTX 3080 Ti and oh man is that one big card. And you know, looking at this leak it's really interesting but it got me thinking, you know, it's probably about time we take a look at what the RTX 3080 and 3080 Ti are going to look like because honestly, I think we're getting really really close to a release date. So first off, let's discuss how much these things are going to cost. So if we take a look at the 3080 Ti to determine how much this thing is going to cost, we have to look at the current market and previous releases. So first of all, if we look at the 2080 Ti price, that thing released at $1,000 MSRP, but unfortunately you can basically only find them for $1,200 and up thanks to the Founders Edition and the way that everyone's just basically gouging all of the buyers. Now, this time around, because of consoles that are going to be releasing at a similar time frame, offering a huge amount of performance, getting probably somewhat close to a 3080, uh, I don't think they're going to want to make these things cost any more. I don't think people are really going to be willing to spend more than $1,200, but I think that the MSRP is not going to change, even though it's probably going to get cheaper. The MSRP of $1,000 is probably going to stick around, but you'll probably be able to find a Founders Edition type of card for $1,000 instead of $1,200. So of course, that's going to drive more sales because people are going to look at that and they're going to be like, oh wow, it's a great deal, it's $200 less, and it's much, much higher in terms of performance. So yeah, I think for NVIDIA, that's probably the route they're going to go. Of course, I could be wrong, it could be $1,200 again, who knows, maybe it could be $1,600, but in my opinion, I think we're going to see $1,000 3080 Ti, and it's going to make people go, woo, what a deal, when in reality, that's still $1,000 for a video card. All right, so now that brings me to the RTX 3080, and I think here we're going to have a similar situation where the $800 Founders Edition pricing is probably going to go away because I think this time around, people are at least hopefully going to be a little bit less willing to spend that amount of money on just one component. So I think you'll be able to get an RTX 3080 on launch for $700, which is a little bit more reasonable than last time around, but again, $700 for an 80 class card is still just, it's a little hard to swallow, and honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it. All right, so now let's talk about the fun part, performance. So if we take a look at all of the leaked benchmarks and rumors that are going around, it seems like the performance should be somewhere around 30 to 50%, which honestly is a huge range for an increase over the 2080 Ti. And if we take a look at the past, this can give us a little bit more of a clear idea of probably how much performance we can expect to get out of a 3080 and 3080 Ti. So if we look at the history of NVIDIA cards, year over year, they tend to give you around 35% performance increases. Now, there have been some years where they've given you up to like 50% increases, honestly, not even that long ago. And this time around, I think we are going to see somewhat of a bigger jump once again because they're moving all the way from 12 nanometers to 7 nanometers. And 7 nanometer should be a fairly good node for NVIDIA. We'll just have to see when it comes out. But I believe we're going to get, and I've been saying this for a while, a 40% increase. So the 3080 Ti should be 40% faster than the 2080 Ti. Now, with the 3080, I think we might even get a slightly bigger increase. So if the 3080 Ti is 35 or 40% faster, I believe we'll get 40 or 45% faster. So I'm going to go with 3080 Ti 40% faster, 3080 45% faster. And if we take the numbers from hardware and box where the 2080 Ti is 30% faster than a 2080, well, that means that a 45% faster 3080 would be 15% faster than a 2080 Ti. And honestly, for $700, at the very least, that's a much better deal than spending $1,200 on a 2080 Ti right now. We'll just have to see how much VRAM it comes with, because I swear to God, if we get one more generation with 8GB 80-class cards, I'm going to lose it. No more of this. Please, NVIDIA, please give us more VRAM. All right, so finally, when are these cards going to release? Well, if we go ahead and take a look at all these leaks that have been popping up, of shrouds of uh, coolers for the 3080 and that recent Strix cooler for the RTX 3080 Ti. Well, that gives me an idea that these cards are going to release 
really, really soon. How soon? Well, if we take a look at the past releases, when various images of the 2080, 1080, etc. were released, it was only a few months later that the actual release happened. So I think we're gonna have a similar situation here. Now, how many months, we don't know for sure, but there is one leak that came out of DigiTimes that suggests September. They seemed pretty confident in it. And if we look at the leaks now, it would be about just a couple of months until September. So that would make the most sense. However, I think the realistic time frame that we can expect is somewhere between September and November. I'm leaning more towards September, but it could be November. It depends on supply chains and when the consoles launch because I think Jensen's going to want to go out there on stage and wave around his card and go, ha ha consoles, my graphics card is way faster than yours. The consoles are obsolete. He likes to do this. You know, it's, it's just his thing. So I think he's going to want to launch the cards first and make fun of consoles because that's what Jensen does. So if the consoles and AMD cards launch more like in uh, December, like around Christmas time, then they'll probably do it closer to November. If the consoles launch in November, he'll probably release his cards in September. So we'll just have to wait and see when it happens. But honestly, I'm probably expecting more around that September time frame. But again, that depends on a lot of different factors. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about all of these recent leaks? Do you think that it's going to release in September? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll try and get back to as many of you as I can. And of course, I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.